Hey guys, Kamikuno, and today I'm doing a review for The Flash issue 11. But before I start this review, um, let's just talk about my uh, video I did on Wednesday. It's a voting geeky award video, and um, just asking you guys, please vote. Um, usually I don't ask you guys, oh, you know, share, like, blah, blah. But I'm just asking you guys um, to vote. That way other people get recognition for their videos, you know. Um, so vote. Vote for that um, video. And um, let's talk about The Flash issue 11. Um, love the cover. I love Francis Madpool's art. You know, you, you guys know that if you've been watching my videos for The Flash or whatever Francis Madpool, um, you know, thing he's done. Whatever Francis Madpool comic book he's done. But, um, I love his art. I love it. And, um, he's a good writer, too, because I've been really liking this Flash series, and I think he's writing it. Um, I know, I don't know about this issue, but he's been writing it. Um, yeah, he did the script for this. So, um, yeah, he's a really good writer. He's a really good artist. And, um, it was really good, uh, cover just because he's done the art. And, um, for the past, last issue, uh, this issue, we haven't been seeing his art for the interior art. And I was kind of upset because, I'm again, I'm a big Francis Madpool fan. I love his art. And, um, not saying this, um, interior art is bad. It's far from bad, you know. It's really good art. It's just not Francis Madpool art. And I was like, I like this art, but I want Francis Madpool, you know. So, um, but still glad that he's doing the cover. It's really good cover. Um, only thing I don't like is that this girl looks exactly like, um, Iris, you know. Um, and that's a story arc that we really haven't, because there's a story arc where Iris and some other people are stuck in the Speed Force. And I feel like that's a story arc they're kind of avoiding or forgetting you know like um yeah there's you know there's still people in that speed force what are they gonna do and then you know flash says oh let me just go back to keystone and just pretend barry allen's dead you know so i was kind of upset that they're kind of avoiding that story arc i mean maybe they're just saving it for later but um kind of upset that they're avoiding it i thought they were actually like i thought this had to do something with the speed force you know i know it was like fire and whatever i was like oh maybe these people are coming back you know whatever but uh yeah you know, so this girl is just a look-alike, but hopefully we get that story arc soon. But let's see what's going on with the story, see if I like that. Um, like I said, Barry Allen, he just wants to change his life because he's like, oh, well, I can't be Barry Allen anymore. He's dead. May I contrary being the Flash a little bit more. So he's going to become Al, a bartender in this issue. Um, he goes to, like, a bad side of town saying, oh, now I could be, you know, uh just flash a little bit more you know i don't have to worry about a secret identity so that's exactly what he does in this issue and we get to see a little bit of the rogues we can you know see um captain cold um another rogue member um i'm not too familiar with the rogues that much but i'm just getting into flash so um but i know he's another rogue member so we get another rogue member in this um issue and so if you're a big fan of the rogues you'll love this issue and, um, again, we're just seeing, like, Flash kind of get used to not being Barry Allen anymore and him getting used to this new life. Um, so this issue, I thought this was a pretty solid issue. It was a good story. But, um, one thing is, like, actually, I wasn't even really thinking about it before I started this review. But one thing I was thinking about, like, you know, there's a lot of characters now that are like, oh, I just want to be a superhero 100%, you know, uh, 24-7, you know, I don't want a secret identity anymore, I'll have another secret identity, because I don't want to be Barry Allen to worry about that, um, yeah, so, there's a lot of heroes doing that, Action Comics, Superman, now Barry Allen, who's next, you know, um, so, I, I'm not a big fan of that, I'm like, alright, stealing some stories from Action Comics, which I don't even like that story that much, like, I'm like, why change, I mean, I understand, like, they're like, oh, you know, I want to, you know, be a superhero more often. I don't want to, you know, worry about trivial life things. But, like, I don't know. I, I feel like Barry Allen wouldn't be the character to do that, you know. Um, and Clark Kent's definitely not a character to do that. And it's like, they're picking such weird characters to do that. Like, maybe, like, Bruce Wayne, Batman's, like, I understand, like, I don't want to be Bruce Wayne anymore. I'll just be Batman, you know. I, I kind of understand that. But um, with these characters, I feel like... Uh, you know, their secret identities are so important, you know? And maybe that's why they're doing it, but it's also so weird that they're doing it all at the same time. Is is there a reason they're doing this? Are they going to actually become, you know, say, hey, I resurrected from the dead, I'm Barry Allen still alive, and same thing for Clark. Oh, you know, Clark Kent's still alive, you know? Um, so I'm kind of disappointed with that type of story arc. I'm like, ah, like, you could be Barry Allen and still be the Flash and 
Like, maybe you can, you can even say, hey, Barry Allen, quit the police department, you know, quit being a scientist. He could have done that. But they keep staging their own deaths for some reason, instead of coming back and saying, well, Barry Allen, I think, is a little bit more reasonable, but because Clark Kent could have just said, oh, I wasn't in the fire, you know, whatever. But uh, with Barry, like, he did die, and he's like, everyone thought he was dead when he was stuck in the Speed Force. But, I mean, he could have thought of a way saying, hey, I'm not dead, you know? Um, it didn't happen. You didn't find my body, so, you know, I'm not dead. Um, they could have done that, but, you know, like, he could have come up with some way. Maybe he will. Maybe he will do that. But I'm like, I'm a little disappointed that they're, um, you know, doing that whole thing. I don't think it's gonna last, also. That's the problem. Like, they're having these stories that are like, oh, let me try out not being Barry Allen. It's like, oh, I miss Barry Allen. Let me become Bar Barry Allen in the next three issues, you know? So I feel like, eh, I don't think Al the Bartender is going to last that long. But, I mean, they, they didn't do it badly. You know, like, um, with Action Comics, I don't like how they did it, you know? They're, like, it didn't even make that story interesting with Clark Kent. I mean, Clark Kent, he was, like, some fireman, and they didn't really explain that that very well. But with here, it's like Barry Allen's adjusting. You know, he's adjusting to not become Barry Allen. It's less confusing. And it's like, oh, I can actually pick Barry Allen being this person. Um, and he's actually still being, like, the personality of Barry Allen, you know? He's not just, like, he just, like, kind of more in the middle of everything now. It's not like he's, like, totally deserting being, you know, um, you know, a secret identity, whatever secret identity he has now, Al. It's not like he's deserting to be the, um, Al and just become Flash 24-7. It's just that he just wants to be in the middle of things, and he's, I guess he just doesn't wor worry about the problem of being Barry Allen anymore. But, yeah, so I thought this issue was good. Um, I still thought it was a solid issue, because I think they're doing it right. I just wish they kind of, you know, make this story a little bit shorter with, you know, Barry Allen not wanting to be Barry Allen. But it's still a good story. It's still really good storytelling. And, again, those are the differences with Action Comics and this issue. It's just, like, Action Comics was, like, a boring story of how they did it. But with this, they're actually making it interesting. So I'll like say I'll give it a four. It's a solid issue, especially if you like the rogues. And they're really introducing the rogues very well to new readers. But, um... I think it's interesting, and hopefully, again, this whole secret identity thing doesn't last that long, but we'll see. If it does last long, then, you know, that's a good thing. Maybe they have the guts to make it last long. So, I guess, really, it just depends how you're going to feel issues to come. Hopefully, it just doesn't get stale, this story, and just say, oh, I'm not Barry Allen, but I miss it. You know, like, I'm just scared for future issues for this. But this was a solid issue for um this issue. You know, so I give it a four. It was a good issue, good art, even though I wish it was Francis Maple's art, but still good art. Good story, but again, for the future, who knows if this will be a good story. Will it still continue to be a solid story? So I give it four stars. I've been really enjoying The Flash, and hopefully... We'll see what happens with it. So this is Comic Uno. I hope you guys enjoyed. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Comic Uno um, and the Rand Situations on Twitter. So um, now we can get news for my videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys.